Bo Thomas. And, uh, well, no, this isn't that one. It's a Babylon time warp. We're talking about baptised by dub, a criminal minded one. This is more like 93, like, I remember you put on any radio station, pirate radio station, and a couple of tunes you would hear often. This was one of them. I just, you'd just be like, yeah. It's just dripping in authenticity. And even as like a young, young kid, you know, like 13, 14, I could see that this was the genuine article, you know, the really, this is the record that you must have, you know? This is a repress. <laughs> I didn't have it then. And this is what says it all, really. This is drum and bass, yeah? 24 <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Just, you know, like, I, I don't know if even more, but no less than when I first heard it. I just sort of like, yeah, you know? You know? I think uh, quite ahead of its time in like, the production is still quite leagues ahead for, for what was going on then. Do you know what I mean? This is a, quite a tidy tune. Really well put together. So people have obviously been making like through hardcore and now in this, they've been doing it long enough. They've got really quite good at it, you know? And this is, this is, this is jungle. This is genuine jungle. The real thing. I mean, do you know what I mean? It's so tight and like really well presented. So the person who made this, yeah, the people who made this, they, they loved it. They fucking loved it and they made it and they finished it. And it's just, you can see the amount of care that's gone into it, even for a record of back then. People feeling more and more comfortable in the studio making records, you know? That's Bo Thomas. And Dan, I think, from Intense. And, and someone else. Three people.
So that's Durban Poison by Babylon Time Warp. And that's brilliant. Isn't it? This is another one, right, from the same sort of era. That again, when I heard this on the pirate radio, you just hear every DJ fan, and you're just like, "What was that?" You know, it's just brilliant. Fotec and uh, the name System X. I think it's just Fotec before he was Fotec, you know, before he was called Fotec. But when this drops down into the Apache, the bass and the really reverse, the reverb kind of bleep, uh, I think it's just check. Too bad, you know. And, and what you'd hear is it coming in, and then every DJ would cut to that bit. So you were every time you were just sort of like, yeah, you know. It's like that's the start of the record. I don't know why it strikes a chord with me still. I think it, it's so amazing. Every time it goes to that part of the record, I'm just moved, you know? It's the bass line too. <laughs> you know? It's like, this, it's sort of like, you're in trouble. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Do you know what I mean though? No. When, when, when it drops down to that. Alright. It might be in trouble here. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like, you know, it's not certain what, what's going what's gonna to happen. But, I mean, that, that, that for me is a perfect jungle record. Jungle drum and bass record. I, I, you know, whatever it was we were buying and they were calling it then. Uh, yeah, it's not hardcore, it's after that, but, you know, nowadays everyone, you know, kids are sort of like going, no, that's this. And you're like, how old are you? You're like, well, you weren't even born when that was out. So and now we've got to ask them what it is. <laughs> what is it again? No, that would fall more under the breakbeat uh, jungle category. Uh, you know, like, you know, some of these throwaway terms, like, do you remember dark core? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I remember it was just like, it's just drum and bass, isn't it? It's like, that's pretty dark, that. Yeah. I mean, would you then say that Reinforced was a dark core label? Do you know what I mean? It's like a, it, it, it becomes a bit ridiculous. It's almost like some people who had some sort of music wanted to try and spin it as something else. So, yeah. you know, to, it's like early marketing. <laughs> yeah, the problem with that dark core, mate, is it hasn't got an E on the end. It's usually got some more like dark core. <laughs> <laughs> dark core, blimey. Dark. Well, this is it, isn't it? Actually, you're right with filming and going on in your apartment. Of course. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and uh, you know, I, I wouldn't say that we're going to go over 20 years of drum and bass. We, we can look at some fucking fantastic records, though. Try that.